All right, so today I wanted to take a moment and discuss my holy paladin. By now, you know, there's a couple videos out there of my holy paladin. Figured I'd give a little quick run through of what my talents are, maybe explore some of my gear. So I chose Bestow Faith. Um, I love putting that on tanks. So I put this uh, on my tanks and that just that, that big bubble of healing at the end of five seconds for 2400 is really nice. It benefits the Holy Shock or the Word of Glory, especially in tight spots. The Judgment of Light, Judgment causes max 25 successful attacks um, to heal the attacker. That's really nice to have for your party. Um, so when you cast your Judgment, it puts Judgment of Light on there, 25 stacks of Judgment of Light, and every time somebody in your party attacks that target, it causes them to heal for 80. And <clears throat> granted, 80 is not much, but 80 can be the difference between you running out of mana or not. So I chose Fist of Justice for the level 30 portion. Um, so, the Fist of Justice, each holy power spent reduces the remaining cooldown and Hammer of Justice by two seconds. I found that to be more beneficial than the Repentance or the Blinding Light, simply because if you're sitting there and you're spending your holy power, you can take that, that full minute cooldown down to virtually nothing if you do it right. Um, so for 35 I went with Unbreakable Spirit simply because I'm not finding myself having an issue with movement um, with Cavalier you know you get that what is that an extra charge of Divine Steed but I'm not really finding myself needing that and then the rule of law is just basically extra range on your heels and your judgment uh, I guess it's just your heels and mastery not really finding myself having any issues being close to like my main my tanks or my main tanks or anything not a big issue um so for 40 i mean i chose divine purpose holy powers holy power abilities have a 15 percent chance to make your next holy power ability free and deal increased 20 percent damage and healing i chose that because <clears throat> I find that procs a lot more, and my personal view is it procs enough that that at that that extra twenty percent or fifteen percent chance is more than worth it. Um, so obviously, you know, there's Holy Avenger. Your Holy Power generation is tripled for twenty seconds. That could be useful in most situations. Um, but again, I just I prefer the Divine Purpose. Then there's Seraphim, Light magnifies your power for 15 seconds, granting 8% haste, critical strike and burst, and 12% mastery. I can see where that would have its um, utilization, but again, it's not one that I chose, and because of that, that doesn't make me really familiar with how the ability would come into play. So. For 45, I chose Sanctified Wrath. Avenging Wrath, wrath lasts 25% longer. Reduced Holy Shock cooldown. For me, I found that to be more beneficial. I mean, Avenging Crusade, two minute cooldown, two minute cooldown, basically does the same thing. And look, but instead, the Avenging Crusade looks like it cools down your Crusader Strike and your Judgment. And it, causes them to heal allies if I'm reading that right so I can see where that plays not even going to talk about awakening we're just going to jump down to the level 50 glimmer of light for that one you can see 
basically glimmer of light, holy shock leaves a glimmer of light, and all charges with glimmer of light are damaged for 185 are healed for 438. I find that to be really more beneficial than the beacon or the either one of the beacons because beacon of faith, you know, that's just an extra beacon for your tanks and raid, but really I don't I don't have that much of an issue right now. Um, I may invest in that one a little bit more later on. I'm not even going to talk about Beacon of Virtue. It's not one of my favorites. It doesn't last very long. doesn't seem to do much. So, um, alright, so we're going to explore some of my gear. I mean, obviously I don't have very much haste. And a lot of your talents will change based upon, you know, like how much haste you have or what you may need. So, <coughs> keep in mind that my stats may differ from yours, and you may be better geared than me. So obviously, you know, I have the campaign set, got that, you know, a couple little odds and ends here, nothing too spectacular. Bunch of 158s, 171s, you know, 177s. So, you know, my gear, like I said, isn't, isn't necessarily the greatest, but it's, it's not the worst either. And then, I guess, since this didn't take very long, we'll talk about, um, <coughs> excuse me, my add-ons. So, obviously, you know, you're familiar with, um, recount, the recount damage meter. Um, the little action bar add-on I have over here is called Razor Naga. It, Pairs really great with your Razor Naga mice. Um, has all your key bindings, you know, really kind of a more helpful add on if you have a mouse like mine, the Razor Mouse. Um, I've had my mouse so long I don't remember what model it is. Um, so, and then my little bar add on here with my healing spells at the ready is Helium. I really enjoy helium. Um, previously, I used to use Healbot and Click, or however you want to pronounce that, C L I C L I Q U E. Really like that add-on, but I stopped appreciating Click as much because I kept having issues where if I would click a spell, it wouldn't always register that I'd clicked it caused quite a bit of issues so I switched over to Helium and Healbot and I prefer Helium more I know it sounds weird but I just prefer Helium a little bit more Healbot's a good add-on too but again it's, it's about personal preference so you know, so there's that. Um, let's see, what else am I using? So when, um, so when is this? Obviously, you know that's a <coughs> excuse me, a uh, whisper tab to myself. So, but this is basically what when looks like. Um, find WIM more helpful than the standard uh, Whisper UI because it puts it right there in my face especially after combat so definitely definitely like that um, I suppose the last added bonus that I'll add to this is an add-on called World Quest, Tr what, uh, World Quest Tracker shows you all the world quests and what their rewards are currently and the expansion um, and then in a few different expansions so you can see everything that's out here on Azeroth um, and then looks like they also have a feature for Legion so so I guess find out everything that's out there. Um, really, really helpful. So 
Anyway, um, yeah, so that's been a quick walkthrough of my Paladin, and thanks for watching.